Hey there! I know, I know, I'm supposed to be on the road and not working for this company anymore. But let me explain. Two weeks ago, I got hooked up for a van. Because of that, I decided that I'm going to go ahead and only work for this company two days a week just so I can have the benefit of the discounted auto parts. Because I knew that this van was going to need some work. Uh, everything was in line up until yesterday. Contacted him today saying, hey, everything was good to go. I found out somebody offered him more money. He just up and sold it from out, out from under me. He didn't even contact me about it, which, you know, is another crappy thing about what happened. I was a bit perturbed with this person. Did write a few lengthy texts that he never received. In the end, this person is not like-minded or in my tribe. I just cut him off. Farewell. That's what happened with that. I will be here for a couple more months, but only two days out of the week. During that time, however, I do have another company that I'm going to be working for. This company is more fitting the style of, the, of a nomadic life. I will basically be doing real estate both residential and commercial for this company they are nomad friendly basically wherever i'm at I just plant my flag and they will give me offers of anything that's in my immediate area or as far out as i'm willing to go so if i'm in quartzsite arizona and i'm willing to travel to palm springs i can get it done oh i'm sorry i'm a little distracted right now somebody just pulled in with a porsche that has a price sticker on it that's not a good sign if you're already pulling into an O'Reilly's with that car. So I can work in those areas and take on as many or as few jobs as I want while being nomadic. There are some things that I have to do to get the more lucrative, higher paying jobs. Renew my drone license, do some of their in-house training, virtual tours. Real simple stuff, actually. And today, right after I get out of here, I will be helping them set up their photo studio for an event tomorrow. So things are really starting to come together for me. I now have another source that I can use while out there for income. I'll have to stick around until fall, which is all right because there's plenty of things to do here in Utah that even after 23 years, I had not even realized. This company was a good stepping stone for me. I'm very appreciative of them giving me the, the opportunity to work while I was building up this foundation to do what I want to do. And I made a number of friends who, like you, watch this channel. It's time to finish this day out and get ready to go to my other job. Just left O'Reilly's to go to my other job to set up a photo booth at the Mountain America Events. Shout out to my old professor at Salt Lake Community College for instilling in me cord safety. Minimize the tripping hazard from my clients. And here we are. So if you're a photographer and you have a heavy head or strobe on top of your on top of your, on top of your stands, this is how you minimize the amount of sway only extend your bars to a maximum of 
to a maximum of 50 to 75 percent. That keeps it a, bit, a lot more stable. Since I'm going to be the one that's going to be over here, this is eliminating. This is eliminating a tripping hazard for for anyone in that chair. It's okay for the photographer to trip, but not the talent. There we go. Here's a little, little perspective for you. This will work. It's not ideal, but it'll work. <laughs>